Did the Cold War's secretive arms race extend beyond the Earth's atmosphere? Imagine a spacecraft not merely for exploration, but designed for combat, racing through the cosmos at hypersonic speeds. This isn't science fiction, this is the story of the MiG-105, also known as the Spiral, an ambitious project hidden within the secretive folds of the Soviet Union's aerospace agenda. The journey of the MiG-105 began in the mid-1960s, a time when the space race was not just about reaching the stars, but about asserting technological and military dominance. The United States had just announced their space shuttle program, which set the Soviet military and scientific communities on edge. In response, the Soviet Union initiated the development of a counterpart that could potentially serve both as a reconnaissance aircraft and a combat space plane. The MiG-105 was part of a broader program known as the Spiral Orbital Aircraft System, envisioned to be a multi-use aerospace system comprised of a hypersonic mothership and a smaller orbital space plane. One of the most intriguing aspects of the MiG-105 was its design. It boasted a lifting body design, which was quite radical at the time. The aircraft's body itself generated lift, reducing the need for large wings and thus enabling it to handle the intense heat and pressure of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere from space. By the early 70s, the MiG-105 was ready for testing. The initial flight tests were atmospheric, using conventional runways for taking off and landing. The prototype, piloted by test pilots who were as much a part of the spacecraft as the technology itself, undertook its first manned flight on October 26, 1976. The flight was a success, demonstrating the MiG-105's capability to take off horizontally and proving the viability of its aerodynamic design. However, as the testing progressed into the late 70s, the challenges became more apparent. The technological demands of maintaining a small, maneuverable spacecraft capable of both orbital and atmospheric flight were immense. Furthermore, the political landscape was shifting, détente was on the horizon, and the funding for military space programs became harder to justify. The eventual fate of the MiG-105 project reflects the tumultuous period of its development. By 1983, the project was officially shellacked, having been deemed too costly and complex with questionable strategic value. The MiG-105 never achieved its intended mission of space combat, but instead left a different legacy. Despite its cancellation, the technological innovations developed for the MiG-105 had ripple effects in aerospace engineering. The research contributed significantly to the Soviet Buran Space Shuttle program and has influenced various aerospace technologies, particularly in the fields of hypersonic flight and spacecraft design. The MiG-105, though a relic of a bygone era, stands as a testament to the ambition and ingenuity of its creators. It reminds us that the boundaries of space continue to push the limits of human creativity and resolve, serving as a beacon not of war, but of the unending quest for advancement and understanding in the final frontier. In the grand tapestry of aerospace history, the MiG-105 is a fascinating thread, woven with the aspirations of a world looking upward and beyond. It was more than a spacecraft, it was a bold statement in the annals of the Cold War, where even the stars were not beyond the reach of human rivalry.